Okay, this is part two with blocking your opponent's attack arm or his lead arm. Notice that arm right there, his right arm is his shooting arm. Okay, so I'm gonna lower my levels. My head gets in position, blocks him in the shoulder, and I block just inside his attack arm. Notice his hand is almost going right down to the mat because I'm blocking it. We pick up the pace, okay, and this is what this drill looks like when my opponent, when my partner, in this case, is shooting a high C. Here it is, nice and slow. Okay, watch my, watch my feet come back just a, just a smidge so that he can't touch my feet. My hand comes down, blocks him in the arm, and my head meets him in the shoulder. Okay, watch right here. My head meets him in the shoulder, my hand comes down, and my feet come back, and I circle. I circle. Blocking the attack arm, okay, is going to stop guys from attacking your legs or locking on your legs at least. And uh, will help you defensively uh, from letting po opponents get to your legs. Okay, little level change, feet come back. I block that, that lead arm, that attack arm. My head gets in position, change levels, and keep him from shooting on you. Alright, remember these key points. You want to have nice low levels. Okay, when he level changes, you level change. Your head meets him in the shoulder, and you're just inside his attack arm. Okay, don't, don't just give pressure, you know, give in to all that pressure coming at you. You know, you can give a little pressure back. So notice here, I'm on my toes. I'm on my toes, I'm leaning forward. And John, my partner here, is really feeling my pressure. Okay, he's feeling my weight as well when I'm blocking him. So I'm meeting the pressure. Remember, low level, head meets him in the shoulder, and block inside of his attack arm.